Hello, right, another Make Rabbit video. This one is being recorded very late. I'm afraid it's about half past eight on Tuesday night, Tuesday the 22nd of December. Why is it so late? Well, because I did record these videos this morning, but unfortunately, they are very long-winded. I need to do something just a little bit quicker, just to show off. So I'm going to do a teaser video. Yes, a teaser video. I know. What's in the box? No, but this isn't Seven, the movie. If you've not seen that and you're of age, watch it. It's great. In the box is a soldering iron. It's a pine saw from Pine. It's a soldering iron with a RISC-V processor with firmware that you can load onto it with an OLED screen. And it uses USB-C power. Try and get this in shot. There we go. It's really good, and it's £25. Also, keep it in the camera shot, lads. 25 quid for the soldering iron. I tested it this morning. The video was long-winded, so I'm going to try and do a shorter one. I just waffle on for ages, like I'm doing now. 25 quid for a soldering iron, and I have to say, it's really good. Heats up exceptionally fast. We're looking about 10-15 seconds to heat up to a good heat. I won't stay in there, will it? Let's move that out of the way. So you may notice a, a casual similarity to a TS-100. Well, luckily for you, I've got a TS-100 as well. At a casual glance, they look very similar. And I mean very similar. Some would say identical. But when you put one side by side, you'll notice there is a difference. So a TS-100 is at the bottom, pine saws at the top. TS-100 is slightly shorter. They've both got the same bit on the bits are interchangeable as well which is very nice very handy as well so i've, I've got quite a lot of bits as well there we go so with pine saw i need a crosshead screwdriver to remove the bit so in this case i've actually just loosened it already and i can fit a new bit i'm going to put this really sharp bit on done just tie something screw if you wish. You don't really have to, but you can if you wish. Put the new bit on, and away we go. TS100, we have to use an Allen wrench, hex key, whatever you'd like to call it. In fact, I've loosened this one already. That's handy. TS100, it needs a DC5525 jack. Am I in shot? I can't really see because of this light ring. There we go. DC5525 jack running between 12 and 24 volts. This can use USB-C, 12 to 24 volts, or I can use a DC5525 jack. 25 quid. This could be my new favourite iron. I'm not saying that for YouTube clicks. It's exceptionally good. I did a bit of soldering this morning. Is that the right bit? Yes, it is. There we go. Did some soldering this morning. Very quick, quick and dirty. Made this thing. It lights up, colour changing LED. And it's soldered really well. Try and get it back in shot, there we go. No faults, apart from my eyesight not being very, very good. So, price comparison. Everyone's gonna think about this because they go, well, TS100 has been around for ages. That's 55, 60 quid in the UK, 55, 60 pounds. So about, what, 80, 90 dollars? approximately 25 pounds plus shipping as well what have you for an iron that gives us a ts100 look and feel with the ts80s usb-c power supply meaning i can use this with my laptop charger which also charges my phone and of course charges my laptop i'm going to do some videos with this soldering iron in fact how about a Christmas Eve one, the 24th in two days time, I do some soldering with that iron and show you what it's like. But suffice to say, I am impressed for the money and the quality. I also like it looks, it looks awful, but it feels great. This blue band here, which is there to stop your hand from slipping and touching the hot iron. TS100 hasn't got that. You can just slip. I haven't, but you could. Button placement is a lot better as well on the pencil. 
because the buttons are here. When you hold the iron, you're naturally going to hold it like a pen. And you could hit that. With this, nope, you don't. They're out of the way. But yeah, did I say it's 25 quid? I know, I'm joking. Great little iron, and I'm quite impressed. And there'll be a soldering video on Christmas Eve. Cheers.